should have done that one more. This is going to end up being two videos, probably. Understandable. I guess it really depends on how how much happens after this uh, this big last yeah. battle. But I can't believe there's not some sort of like, aha, I did destroy you, this is the end of the world, and then there's a picture of the Earth exploding or something. Yeah, I know. I mean, at least something. At least uh, an image. This time we'll and of course, there's no way to skip through all this. All of this. Nope. <laughs> it is kind of funny how, like, the quality of this artwork and the uh, quality of the, uh, um, uh, like the, the artwork of Gaia compared to some of the end screen artwork. Yep. Yeah, I, well, I mean, the artists knew what they liked to work on. For example, despite the fact that it only shows for a fraction of a second, they did put cleavage on this picture. Yeah. Well, they have to do a full picture to, and then have for the overlay to. They could have left the clouds in the foreground instead. <laughs> I suppose. I even put extra evil points into friggin' wisdom. I wonder if it has anything to do with, uh, um, like, if those stats have anything to do with how much damage we do with our power attacks. Hmm. I wonder. Wisdom was probably the right choice if that is the case, but... Or defense. Mm, that's true. Oh yeah, and that ah, my sister, that must have been Gaia. I don't think it, they established that the other planets were siblings or anything like that. I mean, no. to be fair, they're just now. Well, and she's like, that... she's like, Lunar was my sister. Also, the other planets died too. I'm sure they had gods, but I never really met them. <laughs> And no, the moon isn't the elder sister. Come on now. I was like, oh no, I used this fishbowl by mistake right away. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna get so impertinent on your ass. Okay, we do have to use. I think one um We gotta use one mammal power at least. Yeah, and probably um which is the one that raises our defense. It is dinosaur. No, it's Ripo. Yeah. And then now we use dinosaur. Oh, she yep. got the power of Jupiter off right now? Dang. Well, at least we're still pretty much full up on hit points, so... Yep. There's power of Mercury. I was hoping that, like, it skipped over that part of the rotation, but I don't think it does. No. No, I don't think so. Now we're taking far less damage to start here. So as long as we get amphibian powers off, uh, it should be pretty owned. And now that we know what, uh... Yeah, like, I'm gonna heal here. Because she's gonna come out of stun, but, like, she shouldn't be yeah. using Jupiter right away. Right. But she's also so low that, uh... -huh. Yeah, like, as long as, she, uh, as long as she doesn't heal before we have a chance to freeze her again, we should be good. And we're gonna get the first attack here, so if it, yep. if it works on her, we've got this. It is easier to win than it is to lose. 
Yeah. Assuming you don't accidentally use fish power all the time. Oh, shit, oh. we dodged it. So we should have used our uh, regular attack there. Oh, oh. I nimbly dodged it. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just take her out. She's gonna heal. Oh, probably, but... Yeah. But now she has to heal for two turns. But you know what? You can't heal for two turns. If you're... Amphibian! Alright, she can't move. So we've got to kill her in two dinosaurs or else she's going to heal again, but... Then at least we know her one attack is going to just be a heal attack. So we actually have three attacks before she uh, gets a chance to do stuff. She didn't meow! There it is. It was a very deep meow. With an eerie What's death that? rattle, the devil shattered into atomic trash. Scattered <laughs> into space. Atomic trash. You've won. And then it just says, congratulations. Epilogue. Celestial Epoch. A new journey. <sighs> new game plus. Woo! That's your disc five. I don't have a disc five. No. You finally defeated the devil using all of your strength. And that of many other creatures. But you no longer have a body to return to. As you floated in Earth's orbit, you felt... Oh, have we become Lala? Your consciousness begins to merge with Gaia's. Or just another soul she's consumed. Mm. You felt Gaia's gratitude and intense love fill your soul. Oh, wait, no, that's just the craving you have for uh, uh, Chili's baby back ribs. That's when you realized you were freed from the shackles of solitude from the shackles of life, you mean. You hear a tearful voice somewhere. The radio has been destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> Human woman A. I told you to come back alive, husband. Below you are people shuddering in fear all over the surface of, er of the earth. You float slowly down to them. You've decided to haunt them. Boop. I think his mouth's not all I can keep anymore. The cries from within their souls fill your mind. Oh god, the Great One's never coming back! I'm coming, Elizabeth! I don't want to live anymore! What happened to the devil? Was she destroyed or... dot dot dot... question mark? All of our sages are dead! Long There's... live me, the new sage! What should we do now? This girl on the right is a real He-Man looking person, eh? I... I think... That's not what I'm seeing. Where should we go? When you tried to talk to the people... Gaia's cautiousness flowed into the minds of everyone on Earth. Oh, that's just gonna lobotomize them all. Your mind was linked to theirs as well. He felt mutual understanding and tranquility spreading through them. My beloved humans, there is no longer anything to fear. For I am your true god. <laughs> we've won. We've defeated not only the demon, but also our own fate. Physical evolution ends here and now. Wait, wait, what? And they all turn into slimes. Well, I guess we can be that. That's fine. With our minds and hearts as one, a new form of evolution will begin. That's not what you just said. Now let us go. We depart together for a new world. We will be one forever. Oh, this is the end of Evangelion. She into has eaten goo. every life on Earth. The future refused to change. Oh, maybe the uh, the Invid are uh, becoming an energy life form. They're about to leave the planet in a, like a little blind bird of light. Oh, they're lining. 
I thought all the other planets got destroyed. Well, in, in a way they did. There was no life on them anymore. And so a new tale of 4.6 big billion years begins. Time to start the game all over again. Please play as lizards to get the good end. <laughs> Creator, Kawamata Chiaki. Music, Sugiyama Koichi. With many exclamation why are, marks. Yeah, why are there all the exclamation marks? Because it's the main music. Program. Delta Soft. I wonder if that's put in by the, uh, by the uh, translators. Yokoyama Nobuhiku. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Game Design, Evo Project Team. It's, it's actually their position on the call list. <laughs> Game Scenarios, Nakamura Kenji Shikata Tanatomo. Supervisor, Yokokura Hiroshi. Music Programming, Toguchi Yasu Yasuhiro. Animation, Asami Tsuyoshi. Character Digitizing, Nanajo Takashi. Level Up! <laughs> Map Digitizing, Watanabe Shingo Shikata Tanatomo. AV Digitizing, Image Box. Director, Yoneda Takashi. Enix Staff, Mochizuki Keizo, Kikimoto Yuichi, Yuuchi, Kano Kenjiro, Naitao Yasuhiro. I think I know that guy, that name. Hmm. Memori Miki, Takahashi Chihiro, Morisada Hirotomo, Dynamic Staff, Kawamata Chiaki. Yokokura Hiroshi Nagai Takashi Nagai Kenji Man, Is there going to be a Marvel style post credit scene? References Illustrated Dinosaur Guide Shinchosa Shinchosha. Dinosaur Facts and Myths Nito Shoin The Great Dinosaur Journey Shueishi Shueisha Ancient Animals Gaken Dinosaur Theories Hey Boncha Time of the Great Dinosaurs, Futami Shoin. A Boncha Encyclopedia, A Boncha. Encyclopedia of Mysteries and Oddities of the World, Gaken. Cosmos, Space, Obuncha. Flow of Life, Kosakusha. So now we can go and look in those books and see if we can find exact pictures that they ripped off. Yeah, I know. Or were inspired by, I should say. Copyright 1990 Delta Soft. Copyright 1990 Enix Incorporated. Copyright 1990 Tsukiyama Koichi. Copyright 1990 Taguchi Yasuhiro. And off they go into space with the rest of the uh, billions of life. Indeed. Design Dynamic Incorporated, Enix Incorporated. We need it to say good end, or just at least end. It's going to say game over and load back to our last save point. <laughs> Production, Enix Incorporated. They ran out of music before they ran out of words. Yeah, I know. Oh, there we go. Sitting in the middle. I don't know if it just so, pauses on this, or if it... Uh... If... All right, well, I don't remember. Was it Yasuhiro Naitao? I think so. Okay, because he's the creator of Trigun. Oh, there you go. There I had you... no idea. I'll have to look at the uh, um, the video to double check. But uh, yeah, if that's uh, um, thanks for playing Edo. Hey, they said thanks. Yeah, and they kicked us to the OS. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he created a, uh, created Trigun in 1995, so um, a few years after this. Oh, there was a lot I'm of cross-pollinization looking... going on oh. back in the day. I'm sorry? There was a lot of cross-pollinization going on back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not seeing anything on his Wikipedia page about uh, working on that, on this. Hmm. So, what'd you think of the game? Um, Pretty good. Uh very different than what I was expecting initially. Uh, extremely different from the uh, SNES 
port or oh, yeah. remake. I guess I'd say remake. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that I would uh, do a bit differently, but um, I mean, some of it is probably like limitations of the system. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that this never got a true remake on like uh, uh, SNES or PlayStation or something like that because, um, or a true port or something like that because it definitely could do that and it would work pretty well. Oh yeah, like it was it was a good game. Uh, the it was the my only real big complaint is the balance of the grinding was such yeah. that you always reached a point where you had to grind quite a bit. But then when you did, you were now set for the rest of the stage. And then all the combat yeah. was just like, ugh. Yeah. Right? If there was a bit more of a curve on it, I don't know how they would have done that with the, the limitations that they had because uh, they would have had to set something up that maybe made enemies scale with you a little bit. Um, Not necessarily level. that. Just, I mean, I think part of the problem is just the number inflation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't need that kind of number inflation. Well, I, and I feel like the the people on the same stage as you are like seventy five percent as evolved as you can get if you're on that stage, right? Yeah. So you end up with uh, things where like, oh, I'm starting to fight the next stage now because I evolved. If I don't have enough evil points to get to like at least fifty percent in each combat, is going to be like a boss fight. Yeah, and and that's kind of the 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 problem that that shows a, a poor balance where it's like. Everything is either really tough and challenging, and, and I mean every fight, or it's just easy and oftentimes a slog because, you know, it's like, I should just be able to, like, button mash my way through this because it's so easy. Yeah. And they even say, hey, if you want to do this faster, which, I mean, in the, in the areas where you could go back and fight the ones weaker than you, um, it's super easy to grind. There's like, just do that. Right. Yeah. Which, and I mean, to be fair, in the other Evo game, uh, there's a lot of hey, I got to kill a bunch of things and eat their meat so I have the energy to evolve. Right. Like. Yeah. Um. But it's such a different game. When I first heard of this game, I was like super interested in it just because I was like, "What? They made like an RPG Evo first? Like, this concept's amazing." And I love the multiple endings, like the the crazy amount of multiple endings. Yeah, um, that is that is the the best. We missed exploring um, a few at the very beginning, I think, but not. I don't think it was too many. No, no. Um, I'm almost tempted to to load up that uh, extra split of discs we had at some point and uh, go down the lizard arc a bit just to see what uh, what creatures you uh, turn into if you fall off the chart. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm really actually disappointed that uh, the website that I found, which is like a forum or something, um, didn't have the those other later entries because, um, like, we got to see ninety five percent of uh, those early ones. You yeah. know, there were a few that were missed, and then there were just a very tiny number of exclusive ones. But we got to see them all, so to a certain extent, the fact that someone went through all the time to put all that in was nice, but not necessary. Whereas at the point where we where it stopped and y we got to, that's where it's like you have a choice of which side you're on and you're going to miss something kind of thing. Yeah. And I'd be really curious what the uh, um, special powers are on that side mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Well, but yeah, I mean, like the the main thing is that uh, I mean, I did you know like have some complaints about the number of uh, fake creatures and how much it jumped around in time in some places. Like, I'd like more real creatures, and I mean, you know, a few uh, suppositions is okay when when they feel like they they don't have a good representative that they wanted a, a power level but there were plenty of creatures that they could have used and that they they would have been able to know about at these various points um i mean it's it was 1990 it wasn't you know 1930 <laughs> and you know what if, um, they, if they had put in um descriptions of the made-up creatures 
instead like may, like have it be clear that this is a made up creature and then they had some sort of like when they had elves right and then mm-hmm. they treated it like it was an actual creature that existed yeah that was yeah. that was pretty good because like clearly they're made up right. but you know they're like oh yeah they lived in this period of time or and like their height was this and you know here's a little description of them ha 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 right like those were those ones were fun yeah, it was weird that we had a bunch at the early and and like there were at some of those tiers there were a lot of made up creatures. Yeah. Um and it was just this creature is just made up. It was it was, it felt very unimaginative and I was actually shocked when we got to like elves and orcs and homo barbarian and stuff like that and it was just treated as real creatures. Um and and obviously everything over on the the reptile side is going to be like that. Yeah, um, but well, but that is part of history. I mean, we all know that lizard people really run the world, right? Right, right. Of course. Um, although I do want to know if the final evolution is actually the same for both. If you actually do become Homo sapiens on both sides, I suspect so. But or human, as it said. Yeah. Uh, I suspect so, but it's also kind of weird. Um, I would actually kind of like like two things. Number one. A bit of a remake, you know, like a port of this with quality of life improvements, and then a brand new remake that's taking the overall story, but doing way, way more in terms of uh, giving you more evolutionary options, having them play actually play differently, better balance, and like, you know, just take the basic concept keep the basic concept of an RPG, uh, but redo it completely from scratch kind of thing yeah. and see what, you know, what, what they could come up with that way. I will say that, um, I've, I've really enjoyed the, uh, art style of the PC 98 stuff. Um, it's got a certain nostalgic, but just a little bit different from mm-hmm. like, what we'd see uh, on like North American PCs around the same time sort of thing. You know what I mean? Well, it, it, to a certain extent, it feels like older uh, home PC artwork. Um, I feel like by 1990, and maybe this is a limitation of the PC-98, uh, artwork would have been better on a U.S. game mm. by one of the, the known companies, Sierra uh, Origin, that kind of thing. I mean, 1990, uh, like you're you're talking about the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Ultima Six. I think uh, it might be 92. It's interesting too, because like I think that the the big splash screen art was all really well done, mm-hmm. but a lot of the uh, the little guys, especially the early on ones, were uh, a little bit. Uh, maybe they yeah. got done at uh, 5 p.m. on a Friday. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or by more like four a.m. on a Friday. Uh, yeah, some of them, some of them, like, like we did Trolls Tale on the 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 Apple II game by Sierra, mm-hmm. and some of the artwork felt like that era, mm. and that was like five years earlier. Whereas Ultima Six was nineteen ninety, and that has really good graphics for the most part. And of course. There were plenty of uh, Sierra games with good artwork at the at this time. Yeah. So I don't know if it was a limitation of the um, the computer system or what. Yeah, like the uh, the the graphics. Uh, I think I don't know that it could have that many colors. Yeah, I I was suspecting that, but you could definitely do some better stuff with that. I mean, um. King's Quest 4 is EGA, and maybe that's not even EGA level, but uh, I, I I don't know. Mm. Um, but the, the world artwork was pretty good. It was definitely very colorful and stuff like that. Yep. Well, and I think the story, too, uh, was very... I like that it uh, it didn't seem like it was going... Going so, uh, uh, 
uh, off the rails, <laughs> I guess, at the yeah. beginning, right? Like, it, and I, I do enjoy also the uh, the fake out ending of the game because I really did think we were pretty much done. And then there was that whole uh, psychic uh, humans scenario that just yeah. played out. Yeah, that was that was pretty neat. I was not expecting that either. Yeah. So all in all, it's a pretty good game. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't know how. Like other than trying to get the other evolutions, I don't know how much replay value it really does have. Um, I don't think it has much. So for somebody that watched this uh, this series, uh, hopefully you enjoyed, uh, you know, coming along with us on this journey. Um, but I mean, we've we've left open the lizard side if you want to go explore that and see what sort of differences that there are. Indeed. Um, it's getting pretty late here for us on a session night, so uh, why don't we call it here? Uh, thanks again, everyone, for uh, joining us on this journey, and we'll see you in the next Let's Play adventure that we have. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. <laughs>